But I would like to point out that actually there's something missing here that we only talk about dollars per, kilo, per kilowatt hour. And the, what's left out of here is cycle life and calendar life. And the requirement for those batteries, which are the vehicle requirement, has to be about 200,000 miles or 300,000 kilometers and a calendar life of probably 10 and even 15 years. So I think a better way of looking at this, today of course we're not there. Uh, there is a lot of improvement, but I don't think we're there and it's debatable whether we're going to be there in three, five or even 10 years. But there's a lot of good progress. I think one has to look at it from a different point of view and look at the cost as dollars per mile driven versus dollars per watt hour, which is a capital investment. Because once you look at it, the, really the cost of the battery is replacement cost, is, should be considered as part of the evaluation of the economics of batteries. Right. Safety. Uh, I think most critical part of understanding the industry as a whole is safety. Today, we, who's, who's holding the responsibility for the safety of the overall pack? Is it the cell manufacturer, is it the pack, or the end user, which, or the customer who could be a bike manufacturer, or the customer themselves who's driving that bike? I think the industry has to start talking to each other and start uh, learning from each other and sharing experience to make sure that we have reliable and safe product. And it's okay to share some information. It's okay to be a little bit more cooperative and less competitive at this stage because Again, we, I said that in the conference, I'll repeat it. We cannot afford a bad incident of a bad we would involve humans using it, whether in a bike or a scooter or a car. The, the industry as a whole will be set back significantly if we don't address that issue.